Hi, welcome to Laura's View and Tarot 2. I am so glad you're here. Today's date is Thursday, May 30th, 2024. We're going to do something we started last month, and that is a peek ahead edition of Laura's View and Tarot 2. We will be looking at June 2024 for our current timeline, the most of us are on, and this plane of existence, and just to get some potential insights from the universe about what to expect or be ready for or not be tricked by, whatever the uh, advice and insights might be. As we did last month, the top row that I will do, I will do a five card line. I'll explain as I go, each, each card will have a specific role. And the top row is going to be for English speaking countries in general. So it still will apply to the United States, but I'm doing a US specific role to, row too. So let's go to it. And then just like I did last month, after we look at the five cards, we're going to do a six card that is going to be the universe telling us what to keep our focus on. Now, if I didn't have the cards, I would be telling you to keep your focus on where you give your energy. There is a lot of vying for our, our energy, for our attention, and we need to thoughtfully decide where we distribute it. But let's see what the cards have to say, because that advice I gave you is for every day forever. <laughs> and we're going to ask the cards about June in particular and specifically. So I'm going to switch the camera. You can watch me work with the cards and we'll find out together what possible and potential insights the universe has for us about June 2024. Interesting to see what the cards have to tell us. I love this part of what I do. Hey, the top row, again, is going to be English-speaking countries in general. We have the Four of Wands, Page of Swords, Five of Wands, the Death card, and the Hermit. Okay, then for the U.S. In specifically and in particular, we have the Two of Cups, Here's an alignment here, because I said the United States can also have some application going here, and both of these talk about agreements and um, um, a very collegial type of thing. Card two, we have the Knight of Cups. Card three, we have the Four of Cups. Card four, we have the Emperor showing up. And card six, we have the Six of Wands. Now, the next card off the, this will be for English-speaking countries, and the one below it will be the sixth card for the U.S. in particular. Let's take a look at what these cards are kind of indicating to us to expect in June of 2024. First of all, in general, we can expect some events because events happen with the Wands card. So there's going to be some events that we can actually feel pretty positive about going on, um, within our English-speaking countries in general. So there's going to be some positivity happening. Now, the Page of Swords shows up to tell a little more about that. And this is a card of truth and diplomacy and being perceptive. So it's not going to take a whole lot of intelligence and perceptiveness to see some of these events that we can go, that was a good thing that happened. But uh, it still is wise to do that, especially if you're getting tried. There is an attempt to get you distracted. You can be happy distracted just as well as you can anxiety distracted. So um, always keep your discernment on when you're hearing about events or what have you, even happy ones, and just make sure I, that it feels like it's right and true for you. Now, our third card is our hidden influences. And this is showing that in the background, there's going to be some strife and contention going on. Okay? <clears throat> Not serious. <laughs> Those wands can strike some blows, but it's not like they've got the uh, swords uh, impaling one another. So there is going to be some strife that uh, English-speaking countries are going to have to deal with. 
I'm feeling like it's going to be conflicts with um, newer people in our countries. There's going to be a little more of, of that uh, discord and um, some jockeying going on for power, for credibility, whatever it might be. The um, advice card, we have the death card for the advice card. And as an advice card, what that's telling you is just understand that things that happen are going to happen slowly and over a long period of time. You don't have to rush into action. You don't have to rush into words. And keep your eye on the prize of where you want that transition and those changes to happen. And then choose the best possible course of outcome to get the best possible outcome. Choose your words and actions wisely and safely. I will never advise anybody to be rash, foolish, or put themselves in harm's way without a lot of thought and uh, their total free will involved. So like our wonderful people in uniform that uh, have signed up, no matter who's directing them and what their plans are, there's people that are putting their lives on the line on a daily basis to keep us safe or with the hope that they're contributing in a way to keep our world a better place to live in. So they've knowingly put themselves in harm's way or potentially in harm's way. And let's make sure that all of us um, put that kind of thought into our actions. Now, you're getting some advice. All of us are here with the Hermit card. The Hermit card, shining a light on this, saying, yes, there's some long, slow changes going on. I've been watching them. And in fact, I'm kind of helping some of those to come about. So just a, a little reassurance for us and especially for English-speaking countries in general, that uh, these changes that are happening in our world, the good ones, the ones that are part of the alliance, our plans, our hopes for our planet, for our world to, and for us, to have restored DNA and uh, a freer path of growth and enlightenment, um, those kind of things are being watched over and blessed and there's uh we're not alone we are not alone now let's look at the usa in specifically here okay now in general for the united states we need to uh we're going to be aware that there are some agreements that are working out that are actually beneficial to all parties involved and uh let's just leave it there because i'm not getting further nudges about that now the knight of cups we've got a lot of cups here we're going to have situations we're dealing with that tug at our emotions because the cups are our emotion cup. And that's why I think I was getting that nudge to mention, choose wisely what you give your energy to. There's going to be an effort to distract us to, if not get loose from us by with, through stress, fear, and anxiety, just for distraction to tug on our emotions because when our emotions are um, ruling our intellect, tends to take a back seat and not do the thoughtful, logical, critical thinking that might be necessary before you take action or make a change or agree to something. So, and the Nine of Cups is a card that's pretty tricky too. So he's known for that. <clears throat> so be aware of that. He can make some false promises. So we're going to hear some false promises, I would think. And I'm thinking kind of in the political realm here. We're going to be hearing some things that we just uh, shouldn't be taking those entities or people at their word because the promises we're going to be hearing aren't necessarily true. And again, if we're adults and we've been in the world any length of time, we know that whoever's behind a microphone nine times out of 10, especially if they're promising something, they're probably not promising what they're going to deliver. And when we find that rare individual who attempts to do that, we need to give them all of our respect and uh, thumbs up that we can. Okay, the third card just as it was here, is hidden influences. And what we're getting told here is <clears throat> some of these hidden influences are going to be very, very subtle. And it's going to be hard to discern them. Maybe it won't even be necessary that you discern them. Just be aware that there are some hidden influences going on with events that are happening that are going to be incredibly subtle. Not beyond our ability to discern, but it's going to not be easy. Now, our advice card we have the emperor. Often our <laughs> advice card, uh, the emperor card for me, means Mr. T. Mr. T is going to continue to be in the news. And maybe that's what we're not supposed to get caught up emotionally in with events. 
Now, I've uh, long told you that I believe the 17 posts that say POTUS, meaning Mr. T, is insulated. So whatever seems to happen to someone is not going to be the real or genuine original model. I'm going on record here as saying that. And I'm not going to give a lot of energy to what seems to be happening to that individual. Again, because there's some things going on in the background we're not privy to. But if we use our discernment and uh, broaden our perspective, and it does take some broadening perspective to think that we're talking about someone that may have a stand-in in in their place at this time. And then our uh, advice card here, or pardon me, our potential outcome. If we heed this advice, if we heed this advice, remember the hermit's looking over all of this, okay? And this card is always a victory card, that there's going to be events that are going to end up having a happy outcome. If nothing else, as we've discussed before, the situations Mr. T has allowed himself to be placed into with the lawfare going on. It sets a precedent that is going to be useful and is going to be used in the future. And bear that in mind. So don't get fooled by the tricks. Don't get caught up in distractions. Understand some of the uh, things going on are going to be not impossible to pick up, but subtle. And then just know that if we do that, if we don't engage and donate energy into situations that may not be anything near what we're being told they are, we're going to be victorious. Absolutely. And those situations, again, are going to set up a a precedent and a model that can be followed in a good way down the road. Okay. Now, card six. This is our advice card. Another one. It says, keep your focus on English-speaking countries in general, the hanged man, U.S. specifically, three of hearts. Pardon me, swords. Okay, the hanged man is having aha moments. He's not in pain. He's not in distress. Okay, so what you're being told, though, what he does, he has those aha moments because he's willing to look at things in a new way or from a different perspective. So... Be ready, be willing to do that, to view things from a different perspective, to assimilate new information, to discount narratives that uh, just don't feel right to you. Whatever it might be, your your advice for English-speaking countries, and that's all of us that are listening to this in some form of English that is a native language for us, be willing to look at things in a new way. Now, the U.S. and specifically, we're being told that the lies we're going to get are going to be doubling down this month in big time. Again, not beyond our ability to see past them, through them, and not get caught up in them, but it's going to take our very deliberate, conscious effort not to get caught up in the lies. Often, too, the Three of Swords for me, besides lies, can indicate that a clone is in the mix or a some sort of a stand-in. And again, I mentioned that there, in my opinion, the uh, uh, there is a stand-in taking Mr. T's place. Otherwise, I doubt he would have gotten out of that court court uh, room the first day. There would have been some incident that was drastic and what have you. So things are playing out. But when, again, I do believe the alt-media chatter, that if it is a clone we are discussing, and there's fewer of them because there have been some successful um closures and uh, incursions into those centers as they've been discovered, they've been uh, nullified, that the only the the shenanigans gay uses clones when they can. And so this card, though, does indicate some stand-ins. So just a reminder that uh, often when we're looking at people in the mainstream, they are AI, CGI generated. They are stand-ins, they're masked individuals, there are, we just need to be aware, they're going to be doubling down on the lies for the United States in the next month, in June. I'm seeing that a lot. Um, so that's what the cards seem to be telling me for, for uh, June 2024. Again, there's some nice uh, nice events that are going to be unfolding and agreements that are happening that benefit us, but Lies are going to abound. There's going to be some strife and uh, uh, issues to deal with. And so I think you've got some good advice here. I'm going to follow it myself. (laughs) 
Let's recap. We did our peak ahead that we do each month, or I'm going to try to do each month. And we looked at English speaking countries in general, the United States specifically. And what we were told this month, I didn't see anything for English speaking countries in general that would have indicated, oh, maybe like news happening with the Royals, like it seemed to uh, be saying last month. But we need to be aware, uh, English speaking countries, there's going to be some strife and stuff that's kind of going to influence events. The uh, And it may not be the strife and the um, jockeying for position and, and arguing and, and policy revision or what have you may not be in the public eye, but there's going to be some strife. I also thought there may be some issues that seem to involve um, migrants. So the death card showed up, just reminding English speaking countries in general that Change is slowly occurring and we can be part of it, but we need to thoughtfully choose where, how, and when we donate energy to that. So again, the death card usually doesn't mean death in general. It talks about long, slow changes. So we are in the process, and we know that, of long, slow changes. Little reassurance for English speaking countries, those positive long, slow changes are being aided and overseen by intelligences and entities and beings who are not going to be susceptible to payoffs, bribes, what have you. That we have some really loving energy that is encouraging the positive changes that are happening to us, to our DNA, to our world, to everything positive that's going on. And the uh, focus for English-speaking countries for June was be willing to look at things in a new way. Now, the U.S. in general, we're going, they're going to be doubling down on lies to us this month. Use your discernment. Okay? Some of those lies are going to be pretty subtle. And even if they are, they're not beyond our ability to understand them or even figure out what they are <laughs> with the uh, mixed messages and, and uh, false narratives that go on. But it's going to take good discernment not to get tricked and fooled, okay? Mr. T is going to be in the news in a big way. And that may be part of the lies and the trickery that we're supposed to be wise to and not give our energy to. If we do that, then we just need, we have gotten assurance here that we're going to be, we're going to be glad that we follow that advice and it's all going to work out, okay, in a very victorious way. Keep your focus on, for the United States in particular, there's going to be some sort of a false person, whether it's AI generated, CGI, someone in a mask, or one of the uh, shenanigans gangs clones, I don't know, but there's going to be someone who's pretending to be someone major on the America scene in June who is not. Now, whether that works out well, <laughs> as it seemed to indicate for the uh, um, United, for English speaking countries in general, or what have you. We just need to know that uh, we thought it was bad now. In June, there's going to be a lot more lies going on. And Mr. T's going to be in the news, but we kind of get a reassurance that even though he's in the news, okay, it's going to be okay. So that was our June peak ahead. In the meantime, for most of us, it is late spring to late spring, and we've got our flowers starting to bloom and gardens starting to grow and what time of year it is for you, depending on, you know, where you are on the planet, that may not be your season, but take some time to enjoy your family, to share some love, to be kind, be your best version of yourself every day if you can. And remember, okay, we're not going to let the old systems and the old lies and what have you, we're not going to let that wag the, the dog. The tail does not wag the dog. Tail's got to get used to the fact that this dog thinks for herself. And this dog decides what to give her energy to, always. That's it for this video. Until next time, if you're willing to receive it, and I hope you are, I send you love, light, and I wish you everything bright. Bye.